If you have never seen the Nutmobile or the Wienermobile in action, just look up photos of it. A lot of times people will take photos, put it on Twitter or Instagram and say, oh my gosh, the Wienermobile is right here. It's such brilliant marketing. It markets itself. All they had to do was buy a vehicle in the shape of a hot dog and then obviously that's going to blow up. My friend Patrick Golden works for the Peanut Mobile. He travels the US. It is just him for a full year driving a giant peanut around the United States and giving out free peanuts to random people in different cities. This video is about his journey being a peanutter. It's mainly about him. I don't want this video to go off track and seem like it's about my experience working as a Oscar Mayer Wienermobile person, like, or that it's solely a marketing video for the Netmobile. I want this to be a video about my friend, his incredible experience, how in awesome he is, how unconventional he is and the things he does, and just be a celebration of him. I just woke up early, early because the Nutmobile and the Peanut Mobile are leaving at 7 a.m. to go to their location, so I'm going to follow them. I need to find a Starbucks, like, immediately. So I'm only a couple minutes away from the Country Club where the Peanut Mobile and the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile are located. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed in. Hi, I'm here with the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Are you gonna be driving the Wiener? No. Okay. Awesome, okay, stop there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. I love how I just said, oh, I'm here to help out with the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, and they were like, oh yeah, <laughs> go on in. Today is just a day in the life of a peanutter and a hot dogger. Oh, there it is. Yep. This is so beautiful. They're just amongst the trees and nature. So we're going inside? Yes. I love this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a Exclusive. Little... It's a lot more earthy than the Wienermobile. Brown, blue, and yellow. We've got six hand embroidered seats of Mr. Peanut and a little ceiling montage. Of how Mr. Peanut's look has changed throughout his 102 oh, wow. years of existence. So he was uh, drawn in a, a design contest by a like a middle school or elementary school student in 1916. This is what he kind of looks more modern, but if you look at any jar, that's what it'll look like. But that's what our Mr. Peanut looks like. Oh, oh he's more classy now. He got a yeah. vest. This vehicle weighs approximately three million peanuts. It runs smooth as peanut butter. <laughs> This is like a lot of peanut references. Mr. Peanut seems to be discombobulated at the moment. <laughs> Y'all dismembered him. We've got our hot and spicy crunchers. Oh my gosh. Or our cashews. Cashews. Or our mixed nuts. I love that. Oh, I'm getting so, so many nuts. Stickers that say I shout for nuts. <gasps> Can I have one? Look at these seats. It's like a throne. Yeah. It's my new throne. Walking on over to the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Oh, they have like a butterfly door or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty much a butterfly door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is classier. <laughs> <laughs> there is a hierarchy when it comes to these vehicles. Wow, thank you. <laughs> They've been asking everyone, which one do you like more? Oh, I love this one. This is cool. Look, I want you to get a right. photo of Tony sleeping. I want to see how I look in the seat. <laughs> Aww. I subscribed to your YouTube channel yesterday. So <gasps> Did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Plus subscribers. I yeah. think I my friend was on my YouTube channel and he was like, "You have 50 subscribers." I was like, <gasps> no way. I was like, "What?" <laughs> no, I think now you have like 46 or something. <laughs> Yeah, how did you go wow, down? I went down. Other people said, oh, I heard he's creating content about the Wienermobile. Y'all are called hot doggers? Hot doggers. And y'all love that? I, I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think sounds cooler, a hot dog or a peanutter? A uh, peanutter. I do like peanutter nutter more, but. Peanutter why? sounds like a real word. Hot yeah. dogger is a bit much. 
Oh my gosh. A wiener whistle. If you go to the back of the vehicle, you can see the nut butt. Oh my god, shut up. The nut butt. Ew, it looks so disgusting. <laughs> I love it looks like an alien's head or an alien egg. It kind of looks like it's ready to hatch. It's from like the movie Alien vs. Predator. The nut butt. What do y'all call this one? Just the ween peen? It was such a set up wherever we're at, whether that be a fair or Walmart or uh, whatever. And we'll have like games and we'll hand out stickers and coupons. Someone will be dressed up as Mr. Peanut. And we just talk to whoever comes up to us. I love that. And I feel like my whole job, most of it, is just to explain to people what my job is. <laughs> that is <laughs> That's the job. best way. And Mondays are typically our drive days where we move between city to city. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And you're going to Seattle next. Seattle, and then Spokane, then Boise. And then they fly us out to Madison, Wisconsin for a meeting. Uh -huh. Then we go to Bend, Oregon. Then we go to Sacramento. This is oh. just like the typical. So do y'all only go to like cities? We'll go to smaller cities, but it's mainly only cities. Oh. For a chance to win a round of golf for four. That's pretty good. Okay, can I do it better? Oh, I already did that. I didn't put the hashtags though. <laughs> Re-upload. <laughs> Whose card is this? Oh, okay. Ours. Move it forward. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah. I, if the key's in here, I'll move it forward. Okay. I don't know whose card this is. <laughs> they left the key in it. Okay. Yeah, this this leg isn't as high as the other ones. Right, I was gonna say it's wonky. We are currently setting up. We have cornhole, Oscar Mayer cornhole. We have planters. I don't really know what that is. We have some photo opportunities. I say we as if I'm literally working here. This door is gorgeous. <laughs> that is wild. Ugh. That just moved. Oh, you're doing cornhole? <gasps> you got it in the top one. You're almost there. You did it! So what does that mean? No artificial preservatives <laughs> in our meat. No added nitrates or nitrites, except those naturally occurring in celery juice. I cannot say celery. Cel and no bread products. So that means... For the love of hot dogs. I don't know what that means. I, I don't know either. I don't care. <laughs> you want to try? Yeah, I'll try. All right, let's see how we can do. Ooh. That was close. That was close. Oh, made it in the middle. I got in the no added nitrites or whatever. Oh, no byproducts. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? What do I win? Wait, do you have one of the virtual? I want to put on a virtual reality. <gasps> Does it just show hot dogs? Does it show you what your life would be as a wiener? Oh, they have their own branded one. How do I put it on? So you or is it? open it with that. It's Wienermobile. That's the app? So do you actually yeah. see the Wienermobile? I, okay, I haven't actually tried the thing yet. Really? Okay, I'm trying it. We should just set this up so that everyone can use it when we're here. They must hire like the best marketers. Are you downloading it? Black thing in it? You do. What app is that? Wienermobile. Wienermobile app. I'm wondering if we should just set Sponsored. This up. <laughs> Is Park it. Oh, it's, it probably tells you where it's located. It's probably a 360 there. experience where it shows you what the inside looks like. Do you see a hot dog? <laughs> Ooh, little jingle. Patrick is coming to pick me up at the Cascade Parkway station in Portland right now. So he said he's going to bring the Nutmobile and pick me up in the Nutmobile. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm literally in like an outlet mall area with tons of people. It's like packed parking and he's bringing the there's even a plane Where is it? That's my ride. It's my uber. Oh my gosh, there he is coming down <laughs> There he is driving it. Oh, you can't really see in the windows. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, my Uber's here. My Uber. Come on aboard. Thank you, Uber man. Sorry, I'm still in work clothing. No, it's okay. I'm so happy that this is my Uber. 
So what uh, what brings you to the town? Well, I'm just trying to get to the laundromat. So if you'll just take me there. But I'm gonna hit some kid. I know, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> this is great that you just like went to a busy outlet and was like, okay, I'm gonna pick Austin up. Everybody's just like, what the heck is going on? I think I've reached the level where I feel like I could fall asleep right now and wake up at 3 p.m. Really? I'm yeah, it's so tired. it must be tiring. Every day? I thought y'all had weekends off. No, we usually get Monday, Tuesday off. So we're driving, we leave tomorrow morning at 8 to drive to Seattle. And then we'll have the rest of that day off and then two days off after that. Then we work four days in a row, then three days off, and then drive to the next city. And the schedule is just different every single week. I would hate driving this thing. Why? I kind of, sometimes it's funny just because it's just so absurd. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm sure people are like, oh God. I was assuming that people were going to start crowding you once you arrived at the outlets. What if someone crashed into you on purpose just to say hi? A lot of cop cops will pull over you just to take a picture. We're about to like get in a deadly ride. I want Kraft to pay for my medical bills. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> sue the medical bills? <laughs> Take the peanutters to court? This is comedians in cars getting coffee. Comedians in the peanut mobile getting coffee. Getting coffee. <laughs> oh, there's your uh, hotel. Yep. There's the peanut mobile. Shut up. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if people at the hotel are freaking out about that. So it's just you three the entire time, right? Oh my god, that guy's taking a video or a photo of us. Oh, he stopped. That's so funny. He took a photo of the car. Of the vehicle? Yeah. Woo! Does the uh, does it have honking capabilities? Like that. <laughs> woo peanuts! Woo 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 woo! Woo woo woo! What if it what if it made the sound of a cr peanut cracking? If you just go back there and push, okay. Do you know how to open it? Yes. All right. Hold on. Let me get this. Okay. It was so nice seeing. You. Bye, Austin. I'll Bye. hopefully see you next week. For but sure. But if not, then like three weeks or a month. We're not moving. For sure. Okay, I'm gonna get out as fast as I can so right, no I one's like mad. To your friend too. Bye. Bye. Just close it really hard. Woo! Oh no, I'm trapped. Okay, got it. Okay. Bye bye. Hi, this is a Facebook live stream. <laughs> We're on Facebook. Hello, Sub Facebook. Subscribe below. Um, Ask me questions. I'll answer them for you. <laughs> we have our first question. Titties or ass? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm more of a personality guy. So who manufactures the peanut mobile? Or it's mobile? custom made. It was made in... Uh, like, so it's not like Toyota or anything? <laughs> no, it's not Toyota. But it's built on like a, a Zuzu chassis, which most... Standard ambulances, especially in like the United States or Canada, are built on. <laughs> it's basically an ambulance. Most okay. people think it's a camper. Like people at events are like, "So what's sleeping in that thing like?" And we're like, "How many what? people can it fit?" Six total. Okay, that's so how many. I mean, we can fit more inside of it. That's how many seats we have. The Nutmobile is more of a bus. I go straight, right? Yeah. Okay. And the Wienermobile feels more like a van. It's a lot more spacious than our vehicle, uh -huh. and it has like sort of a grungy, earthy vibe, and it's brown and blue and yellow. Uh -huh. But the Wienermobile is very sparkly and like. So awesome the vehicle is worth half a million dollars, uh -huh. but the Mr. Peanut costume itself is worth fourteen thousand dollars. It's that like the fabric is like super bougie. It's like cashmere. For Italy. <laughs> it's a cashmere. Louis Vuitton designed it. <laughs> the other day when we were driving here. Uh, 
we ran out of gas on the freeway, so the net just stopped, <laughs> right, as we were about to hit a downhill, so I just put it in neutral, and for three miles, I was just screaming, driving, I was like, ah! I would assume that most people know what the Wienermobile yeah. is, but the Netmobile, Because the Netmobile like, program what? has only been around for six years, and the Wienermobile okay. has been around for 33. So, at any given time, how many Netmobiles are, like, going around? There's three Netmobiles going across the country, and there's six Wienermobiles going across oh, the country. Oh, so y'all got So it. it's a group of 21 of us, so two people each, Wienermobile, three people each, Netmobile. Mobile. And so there's probably like a Netmobile in Florida right now, possibly. There's a net, yeah. There's a Netmobile in Vermont right now, and one in Minnesota. Okay. And we're each assigned to a different region, but um, yeah, more people definitely know about the the winter Netmobile for sure. How seriously do you take this? Because. I look at it and I'm like, okay, so you told me that they really, it really appeals to like marketers and like communications majors. So here's the fascinating thing. I did this really excited to do it because I know it'd be ridiculous and like a joke and yeah. like, I obviously would treat it like a job. Like it's a really fun job and I've had very similar weird job experiences to this before. Yeah. But when I talk to my friends that were at, like, in UT's Moody College of Communications or other, everybody else that got this job was, like, a PR marketing and advertising major. They're like, oh, no, like, this job is highly sought after and coveted. Like, <laughs> this, is, like. this is known in the PR world to be, like, the best, one of the best jobs you can get out of oh, undergrad. Yeah. And like, I, it's super prestigious, and basically it sets you up great. for life with, like, you want to turn left here. Okay. You, it sets you up to life for if you want to work for an advertising agency or PR firm or like a big marketing firm because they love this shit and it's like very prestigious. And See, that's like, the what? thing I'm curious about because I did I did match with that guy on Tinder who did do the Wiener Mobile and he has an amazing job in Austin now. I I'm just curious as how to how they scammed everyone into believing that this was like the highest regarded position <laughs> you could possibly have. You no, know, my and friend that works for one of the top advertising agencies is like no, it has it's so prestigious. Like everyone in my agency knows about it and we like directly look for people that do the show. Do you think you would seriously, uh, after the job, drive for the Potato Mobile in Idaho? I would do it later on in life because it's okay. different. Because this, it's only graduating college seniors. This is the only. I specifically wanted to do this over any of the other things I've been interested in doing after undergrad. Because this is the only time in my life I could do this. Yeah. Like you can't be like 25 and drive a Wiener Mobile, right? Yeah. Uh, but um, I would do the if I was like in between things in life and I wanted to like adventure some more. Yeah, I would absolutely do it. Because I was going to ask, what after you're done with this, like you could leverage this so I am I guess so, easily. <laughs> so that would be a natural transition because it's like similar. It'd be like I go to Germany, I could have like a marketing or PR. Advertising Maybe internship. Maybe you can drive the broth. Where's the movie? <laughs> <laughs> if they have that. Jesus. They're probably like, what are Americans doing? <laughs> They've taken the Wienermobile to Europe before. And they... There's actually a book written by a guy who's now one of the lead screenwriters for Family Guy. He's a <laughs> Wienermobile... Was a Wienermobile driver. And he wrote a book about his experience in the Is there any Wienermobile YouTubers that are like daily vlogging about this job? Most people... Not that I know of with... That people are doing right now, but I'd say maybe like four people in total are blogging about the experience. Good. But they're not usually that interesting. It's more just saying we did this, we did this, we did this. Yeah, for sure. And maybe would... that's because I, I'm doing this job, but it's not as. I you feel like be someone. Have... It. You should be a YouTube vlogger about it. I do. I just never. I just haven't cared enough to want to do that. Why did the camera? Hey. Do you have anything else to say? You know, life's a nutty ride. <laughs> Gross.